Hey everybody, it's Mr. J here from the Droids Canada, or also known as the Droids You Are Looking for Canada. Anyways, I'm here to do a quick pop. That's right. Um, this week, this episode's brought to you by Toronto Fan Expo. That's right. We have received a media pass, and we will be hanging out there. Myself, Miss Chainsaw, Rainer, and even one of our newcomers, Gabby, will be hanging out with us. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be doing some talking, walking the talk, taking pictures, cosplay. It's insane. Hopefully an interview or two, maybe run into some friends from Space Moose Entertainment, that Joker guy, and the Doctor Who Dark Journey. You're looking forward to running into them. So with that said, if you're not going, you should be this weekend, Labor Day weekend, Toronto Fan Expo. And who really wouldn't want to go? Well, I'm going to go, but if they have chimichangas, I'll be pissed. And the news starts now. That's right, episode 110 of the news is here. We're going to start it off on a little bit of a low note. That's right. Sir, great Lord Richard Attenborough has passed on, which you're like, who in the blue fuck is that? Well, you don't know him as that. You know him as Jurassic Park's founder, John Hammond. Oh, now you know who he is. That's right, he has unfortunately passed on at the young age of 90. So we obviously send our condolences out to his family and such. And, uh, you know, it's going to come with a little bit of a monkey wrench there. It would have been kind of cool with the new Jurassic World that's coming out over the next year or two to have a little walk on. I'm sure I agree. You agree. We all agree. It's ice cream. You know, any way you want to look at it, death is sad. I mean, most people are very hurt when death happens. But the following names would not phase me. Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, any type of boy band, Rob Schneider's goat, Nicolas Cage's acting, Voodoo, LGN, Jennifer Gardner's ears, Activision, most of EA, any copy of Catwoman with Hale Berry, the current era of wrestling, Ronda Rousey's armbar, any of the Kardashians, Jersey Shore cast, or anyone who was on the show, I didn't know I was pregnant on TLC. Like, come on, did you think the chicken nugget got stuck in your stomach and grew? They came with the fucking program. And that is the people that wouldn't phase me. Dear Tom Cruise, do you just not have money? Are you broke? I highly doubt that. Because you're making a fifth installment to Mission Impossible? Is this movie possible enough to butcher enough times for more money? Like, wasn't the... Uh, the last movie you made, which I actually don't even remember the name of it because it was that good, turn out? Well enough for you to have money? You know, I don't know if this is a Scientology thing, and I'm not going to go that far, but... Listen, Tom, you're a great guy. We laugh together. But the Mission Impossible franchise is done. Over with. Like, I mean, it's like using the same condom that someone else has used multiple times before. You know, eventually, someone's going to burst your condom, or your bubble, that this is not a good idea. That's right, now more rumor mill from the Batman vs. Superman movie. Besides being out of contention of having that massive battle between themselves and Captain America, which, I hate to say this, Marvel, you're going to lose that one. Just because everyone would want to go see this film more, because it's not a safe film. Everyone's already looking at it as the giant car accident of 2016. That's what they're looking at it as. Not, oh my god, a Batman versus Superman fan. No, they, they're not doing that. But more things have been shot from point A to point B. There's been a lot of shots. A Gotham Jail, um, outside LexCorp, or Lex Corp, if you want to call it that. But apparently, Batman, or let's say Bruce Wayne, was having identity problems. That's right. He is an MMA? An underground MMA fighting area and bar? Huh. Did they just run out of ideas and like, what was that movie? I was watching this movie. Fight Club? Like, really? I actually read a lot of Batman comics in probably the last year. Don't, don't judge. But I don't remember Batman as Bruce Wayne going to an underground MMA fight club. And you have big John McCarthy over there calling the fight between him and Anderson Silva. Yeah. 
Yeah, Anderson Silva was doing great until someone said break a leg, brought back some horrible moments in his life, and then Bruce Wayne won. Oh, even I felt bad for that joke. So how much is a comic book worth to you? Well, if it was Action Comics number one, it if finally the bidding is done on eBay, people can stop putting away all those mortgages, remortgages, third mortgages, Ford mortgages, crack dens, whatever they need to do to put up this money for this comic book, you're you're safe now. It, it's fine. It's fine. Just yeah, put put the shotgun down. You're fine. So with that said, Action Comics sold for three point two million dollars on eBay. Um, whoa, that's a lot of nuts. Um, that's the best way to put it. Not too bad. Um, mind you, uh, Superman sucks. But I'm not judging anyone. Everyone's entitled to their opinion about a man who's got a god complex. But $3.2 million. Well played, Superman. Well played. Einhorn is Finkel. Is Finkel Einhorn? Is that the way we're going to start this part? We are. That's right. Google, who has been a relentless giant in scooping up everyone and making them join their empire. First off, Google, um, fuck you. You know, I really do not like the integration of YouTube in with this Google thing, uh, mainly because it's a pain in the ass to get everything to set up. But hey, you know what? That that's That's old news. We're not going to dwell on that. Go fuck yourself. But moving on. And maybe that's why your social media network doesn't work well. Oh, see! But, uh, they tried buying Twitch. Not so much. They backed out of it for $97 million. Um, it looked done, and then everyone backed out. Um, wow. That's all, <laughs> that's all I've got to say. Uh, that's pretty insane. Uh, but now Twitch is owned by Amazon. Da -da -da. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I don't... Why? Okay, Amazon, you're great for buying shit, but you are not good for TV. Just just remember that. You're not good for videos. Not good. Ever. You don't impress me. Nope. Report! 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 <laughs> oh, made you think there a little bit. You're like, what the fuck? Is that a segue? That is. That's right. We're talking about that minority report. Not the movie. Steven Spielberg. That's right. The man who made 360 million dollars off the 2002 movie with Tom Cruise. Wait a minute, didn't we already talk about Tom Cruise? We cross like Tom Cruise. Yeah. Anyways, um, he's making a TV show out of a horrible movie idea. But the wait, there's more. What? There's more? There's always more. They're bringing on the writer from Godzilla, Max Bornstein, who wrote Godzilla, who did a shitty job of it, may I just add? Um, a film with no structure, but mind you, it's Godzilla. Did you expect a storyline? I don't know, but I have wiped my ass with better things than what that movie was made out of. So, whew, I don't know if this can be good. They can ask yourself questions, what, you know, what network is this going to be on? Probably Fox. Won't even get out of the first season, most likely. Firefly, ring a bell with anyone, but Firefly was actually good. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. No, I'm not going to go on the bandwagon, but bring it back, because, you know, that's kind of, that bandwagon's old. Even Nathan Fillion said he wouldn't do it, so we're going to get off that bandwagon. But, you know, I remember this one time I was watching this really good show and it had, like, good movie budget. Wasn't it called, like, Almost Human? Oh, canceled. Incoming rant! That's right. I'm going to rant about something I read. And um, take it from a amateur filmmaker when I used to make action films, horror films, and never anything drama because I just don't have a soft spot for it. But when you're pissed that your shit's being pirated... Welcome to the digital age. Like, did you just get on the ship? You not? You don't understand. Wait a minute. You were actually born in the area of digital age, where everything was ripped. That's right. I'm talking about Chloe Moritz, who is the star of Kick-Ass One and Two, Hit Girl, who has actually had runs with other movies, and she has the balls to say, "Well, I don't want to make Kick-Ass Three because Kick-Ass Two is the most pirated movie of the year." Hold on. Did you still get paid? 
Did you still get a paycheck at the end of the day? Did you still have your little, what is it, 16, 17 year old ass make too much goddamn money more than you're worth? Like, you're a good actor and all, and I'm not going to put you on a fucking pedestal. When you make a comment like that, it pisses me off. Like, I mean, realistically, if I found out that this podcast was pirated like a hundred million times, that's a massive boost to the ego. So I don't understand why you'd be pissed about that. Because actors have clauses in their contracts that say they get guaranteed money if, if, you know, if the movie is made. Blah, 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 blah. Unless they're based off, you know, merchandising. And I'm sure Kick-Ass made a lot of fucking money in the box office. I'm just too lazy to check it out. So, I mean, I hate comments like that, when, especially when you know the person is a guaranteed paycheck. Try working a minimum wage job. Oh, you never will! I'm so excited for October, and I've already got it pre-ordered, so I don't even care! That's right, guess whose birthday it is in October? Well, just kind of a lot of people, that's kind of boring, and uh... Remember that time, uh, Deadpool fought the Human Torch and helped the New Avengers? No, that's right, that's right. That's right. Guess who is photobombing Marvel's 75th anniversary? That's right. Deadpool will be photobombing the cover of Marvel's 75th anniversary comic book. What? That's just pretty much badass all on its own. Like, right there, I'm fucking blown away and I gotta fucking own it. Um, Deadpool has definitely done a lot of his own. There's actually a sad amount of people who still do not know who Deadpool is. Uh, the words sad, does, like, that doesn't even explain how I actually feel. Because Deadpool 1 is Canadian. Two, he's Canadian. Three, he's funny as shit. And did I mention he's Canadian? Did, did I forget about that part? That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. So, if you're not into Deadpool, I get it. But most people who are not into Deadpool are people who just never game a genre. So, I'm looking forward to celebrating Marvel's 75th in October. All right. Well, that concludes the end of our new podcast. What? No, I didn't mention that. All right. All right. So I was told that we need to mention something very important. Um, how do I put this? Thank baby Jesus Christ that True Blood is over with. Holy fuck balls and tits and shit. Ugh. This Susan, this was Susan, Susan, I wish it was Susan. Maybe Susan wouldn't be lazy like lazy Susan. I don't even segue. Um, yeah, psychotic breaks. It does happen a lot here. Um, it's over. And I'm not going to ruin it for you. The episode which has been aired is called Thank You. No, thank you. Thank you for making shit contents in season four. And that's being nice because season four really wasn't that good. But... From all of us to you from the droids, let us give you a perfect send off. Sucky. Ah, fuck it, press the wrong button. Hold on. Sucky. 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 Someone put it down. Okay, I said. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry there, Bill got the true death. And with that said, I will end the podcast saying you should enjoy a chimichanga, but you can't. So, retro music! We don't need no stinking spinach, we need some motherfucking chimichangas!